Ay, yeah, ay, yeah. ay. Why am I doing cop stuff? Hey there, fatty. You know where I can uh, get an application? John, what the hell <laughs> happened to you, you ugly? <laughs> yeah, well, listen. Oh my you? God, dude! You don't even got no chin, man. Well, your nose goes farther than your chin does. Let's so, go talk to the commissioner. It, Come on. His office isn't unlocked. Come to my office. Okay, you have an office. You look like yeah, I got an office. Five. You get an office. Listen, man, I'm on the up and up. Okay, I don't know what you've been. You've been on vacation for so long. You know, I lost a bunch of weight, as you can probably tell. It's in my office. Welcome. Oh man. Is it? Go ahead and take a seat on the chair, man. All right, my name is Officer Bustin. Bustin Satter. I'm part of the onboarding process before you talk to the commish. Oh, Lord. So, I need you to state your name. John Charleston. John Charleston. That's wonderful. All right, John, why do you want to be a cop? Oh, man, we're interviewing with you? What the f*** is that supposed to Listen. mean, John? Okay. <clears throat> um, you know, I feel like I can be somewhat of a good should i write down he doesn't know yeah sure do like an is what thing. do you think you are <laughs> as a person are you more of a spoon or are you more as a fork a spoon okay the correct answer is a spork uh if you were running away or you're chasing somebody obviously you ain't running away we're the law unless it's from a salad if you're pursuing somebody yeah. and you are the secondary unit okay mm -hmm. and that individual goes in to a alleyway a secondary mm -hmm. unit what you doing i follow the uh primary negative you're paralleling well you did great let's go come talk on, to I the, thought the tertiary prime is come uh on, come on come on john like what's going on commish howdy howdy mr cider how you doing today i'm good man this is your transfer it's him. Hola. Yeah, you can call him John Charleston or Balsack Chan. What? All right, Balsack, what's up? That's not very oh, nice. Come on, let's not let that stick, guys, please. I like the cutting your jib, Puff dude. Daddy, what the hell you need, man? I watched a lot of Clint Eastwood who you movies. Call, who you calling Puff Daddy, Chubbs? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you can't call anyone Puff, the bro. hell? I ain't that yeah, you, fat, you heard, man. Dude, dude man, big listen. Old, big old listen, stickums listen. over there, bro. Well, listen, man. Your mom enjoyed the cushion with the pushing last night, okay? Fuck you, Puff Daddy. Commish, I welcome back to your office again. Come on. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Get, get, your, get, your, get, your, get your steps in, buddy. You ain't going to walk get anywhere. You're uh, you you the the Y'all you want to get dressed back. beat right now? You want to get dressed beat, huh? Oh, so everybody always messing with me about my weight. I ain't even that big. Tell me. Am I fat? Um, you're round. What the f***? Which isn't always necessarily fat, man. Is that a, is that a no? I'm gonna stick with round. All right, sir. How you doing right. today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Where about you from, sir? Where do you serve? Hey, I'm from Alabama. Okay. okay. I went to Alabama State Tech Christian Private University. I played center. I was I was talking to him. So I oh, sorry about that. He sir. was protecting the quarterback. I'm well, from California. Good. Is that where you did your law, law enforcement too? That's correct. Uh, how many years you do? Two. But you did. I don't know. How old is he? I'm gonna be honest, man. I was I, born in '78. Cider, is but he's he only a good 45? Man. Look at this man. He looks like the fucking crib keeper. My hair turned gray oh. when I was 20. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, late starter. What'd you do before that? I was a boxing coach. Okay. Who, who's yeah, your coach? Boxing. Boxing. Anyone famous? Yeah, Tyson Mike, 50 Tyson. Mike Tyson. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Also dabbled in a little bit of coaching MMA. You know, Max Holloway. That's my guy. Just to name a few. And <laughs> Justin Gaethje, that's my guy. Okay, so you were a big shot. He taught me the left titty takedown. Wait, what's yeah. that? I take my titty, slap the shit out of somebody with it. What type of relationship did you two have? We were partners Man. for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, partners. He found me when it was real bad, sir, before I lost <laughs> all the weight. I was just making shit up. You lost weight? Used to be about 400 pounds, and now I'm... Not a pound over 250. 250, huh? 250, John. <laughs> uh, would you be a fork or a spoon? Spork. You have a choice. A fork? Uh, yep. Okay, let's hear it. Why? Wait, I was just joking. I'd be a spoon. I'm going to give you a real answer. Okay, why would you be a spoon? Because you can't eat ice cream with a fork. Well, you probably can, but not efficiently. 
yeah. and cereal. You definitely can't eat cereal with a fork. That's I've tried that. Well, that leads us to our next question: milk before or after cereal? I'm an after cereal. I like the milk to get on top of some of the cereal before it gets below it. That tells us a lot about your character. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, Commish, this dumb son of a bitch. I told him the answer before the question, but this son of a bitch forgot the fucking answer to the question and gave you his first answer that he gave me whenever I was interviewing him in my office next yeah. to the fridge. You prepped him for this interview? Obviously not. Let me explain to you what happened in his brain. He knew that I told him spoon was the wrong answer. And this dumb son of a bitch thought or forgot that I said fork. So then he said fork. Then you said why fork? He instantly backtracked and went, I don't know. Let me go back to what I originally answered. Spoon. Yeah, because it was honesty. It. He thought you were fucking with him. <laughs> I guess. Okay. All right. Let's 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 bring him back in here. I want to ask you a couple skill testing questions here. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. What is primary doing a chase? Is the first person chasing uh, the uh, the suspect? Well, and I guess if he's the only one there, he'd be calling out what's happening. Well, if he wasn't the only person there, he would just be doing that while his second, while the uh, secondary call. Okay, what's the tertiary doing in chase? Parallels. What secondary do? I mean, communicates and backs up the primary. Uh, I mean, parallels under certain circumstances, I imagine. What, what circumstances? Um, you know, very small alleyways where it's it's obvious you don't need a secondary to go through and have the first uh, or have, suffer the same possible consequence as the primary. That's what we like to hear of Charleston. Good job. What do you know about uh, use of force? Someone rams your police vehicle at 100 miles per hour. What is your response? I tell them if they did it again that I would up my aggression levels and uh, be more prone to pit them and such out of the way um, at okay. low speeds. Okay, they say, F you, you goddamn ball chin son of a fucking bitch. And f keep ramming looking you like back. A ball sack, cue ball hand yep. having, balding, uh -huh. looking like a seven uh, head piece of shit. You got fucking spaghetti nipples. You look like you've been huffing Cheeto uh -huh. dust, drinking Mountain uh -huh. Code Red. Got fingers looking like chicken strips going over by the Burger King. Got fucking <laughs> fingers looking like they got, 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 got nothing. Your <laughs> eyelids <laughs> looking like they got <laughs> bugle dust all over them. You son of a and then I ram you again at like okay. 60 miles per hour. I just keep ramming the shit out of the side of your car. You can't move. What do you say then? Size three shoe, little bitch. Mm, that's a good ass question. Do I threaten to shoot them? I'm going to tell them to stop. And if they don't stop and they keep on doing it over and over again, that, uh, yeah, I might shoot them. Yeah, so this <laughs> happens a lot. So what I would tell you is um, if someone is ramming you with, dead, you know, with a car at high speeds over and over and over again, that's deadly force, right? At that point, you want to warn them that, they could be met with lethal force, and if they continue to do it, you shoot their ass. Okay. Whew, I was really worried I went too far on that one. No, no. You're right. Oh, hey, yeah, you take me out the that. chase once. I'll let you go. Take me out the chase twice. I'll fucking kill you. Besides, are we, you do realize as law enforcement officers, we never shoot with the intent to kill. We sh shoot with the intent to disable. When the f did we start doing that, man? I've been shooting to kill for weeks. <laughs> That's law enforcement everywhere. Oh. Sodder, that is everywhere. <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen. Man, I only kill people if they deserve it. Uh, boom. Did you say boom? Yeah. I have no words about that. Um, okay. A few minutes later. I think that's all I really, really got here. I, I mean, failed the really, out of this interview. Understanding to, so I don't really have any objections to impede his ability to join the force. Yeah. So I assume you want, want to rob with him, Sider? Yeah. yeah. I'll take him. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then when he wants to, when he feels comfortable. Taser training. And then when he, uh, then when he feels comfortable and he mm -hmm. wants to do like a final eval, one of command, he can do that. But probationary basically gives him the freedom to, to ride solo. All right. You're gonna go shirt four sixty three. Oh shit, that's the wrong. Yeah, I know it's almost fifteen, so start calling back. I think that looks good. That work. That works. Pants one sixty nine. Uh, the double back. <laughs> All right, damn good, John. How about this guy? Yeah, <laughs> yes. You look yeah. fantastic. Come here. I need I'm you to look at this. I've been on this case for a while. I think I've seen If you that. see anybody who looks like that, you let me know. We're offering a $50,000 reward right now. You find them, you let me know. Okay? Yeah. $50,000 reward right there, man. 
called a you clearing barrel. You clear your weapon. I've never seen him. Sure you don't have yeah, I'm on the I'm on the case though as the lead investigator for the BMI bandit. I'm gonna catch him. And when I do, let me just tell you, he will be absolutely punished by the full force of the law. And he's wearing uh, police clothing in some of these. Yeah, he's one of us. He's a police officer stealing all the food out the fridges. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Let me know if you see anybody who looks like that, some bitch, and then uh, we'll, we'll bring him down, man.